Grant, who made the birdie on Friday to make the cut, made a birdie at the last today. And he will have to do something special on Sunday. Speaking of special, how about Davis Shore? That at the 18th, nearly an eagle on the point, shoot 65. Now inside that top 75, Julian Surrey, not yet tour bound, but he's making moves. He should get himself into the tour championships. How about Roy here at the 12th? This is for Eagle. Oh, my. Do the hard part, and then that one didn't even touch the hole. So it'll be a birdie, but basically feel like he dropped the shot considering how impressive that approach was. He's had it to nine under after a birdie at the 11th, made double at 12. The 17th, always so difficult. And not so much now for Surrey. <laughs> it's one of the best of the day we've seen. Roy now tied for the lead after that two putt birdie. 223 yards, plays about seven downhill. Always difficult to get it on the same portion of these two shots. Whole location, that is fantastic, Shane. <laughs> Go to 17, showed you the tee shot, see if Surrey can pay it off. It's a great two. Sorry. Now Kevin Roy just missed a shorty for Eagle. See if he can knock this in for birdie and the outright lead. That's a great bounce back, James. I mean, you, you know he's coming off a of birdie, but flags that approach shot. And a big birdie there at 13. Now Roy at 11 under. Here's Nyholm. Up and out of that one quickly. That needs to settle. He's already had a three putt in his round today. Yeah, good comebacker. You can even see the reaction from Pontus. Big putt. Yeah, Nyholm, the only player currently in the top six on this leaderboard, not tour bound. Here's Sappin, one of those players tour bound in the top six. Sappin trying to swing something in there from there right go. to left. Yes. It's going to keep inching closer. Great golf shot there. Up at the green. See if Sappin can knock this in for Eagle. They yeah, can. Great roll for the 24 year old. Looking for his first career win on the Corn Ferry Tour. 188 yards for Goodwin. Needs to carry it 182 at least to cover the false front. Tracer technology provided by Trackman, and that is an ideal golf shot for a guy that has not made a birdie today. Yeah, one tee up. Maybe a softer hole location, but still have to hit a great shot to get it close. Like that. Yeah, that, that does it. Easy. There's a false front there. Okay. That is perfection. Oh, this looks really good if it gets there. Is it going to get there? Still a great roll. He's worked a lot on his body over the last couple of years, put on some weight, become stronger, faster. And a big one, had not made a birdie on the day. And now the 10th Eagle here at 12 in this third round. Noah Goodwin just a shot off the lead. It's a close one here, so there's a lot of back and forth between those two. Dan McCarthy. Trying to play his way into the top 75. This for birdie at 17. Going to move right. It is. Oh, what a putt. He likes it. He should. What a shot. Big bounce. It's going to chase back close. How about this from Goodwin? We have not seen many shots inside of 20 feet today. At 13, smart play. I think he was playing for that, Shane. I think he knew that there was a rather large downslope there. Got a, still landed in a 10-foot circle. How about this shot? Wow. Okay, maybe a little shorter than I thought. <laughs> that landed on the front of the green, but hey, he'll take it. And James, you think about coming off. Now, Goodwin, best shot of the day. And he pays it off. How about that, was, that stretch right there for Noah Goodwin? Makes Eagle at the 12th and a birdie here at the difficult 13th. And there he is again. Well, he did have one of these shots on the previous hole. A little bit too much ball there for Roy. 
Big putt here for Kevin Roy. See if he can save par. Be a big putt for momentum. Yeah, buckets. What a putt. Put it up and in. A couple of great sand saves. Hard to be aggressive and it's hard to commit to hitting the putt. You're sapping across the green of 14. How about this guy? What a putt. You think about a couple of the rolls we've seen from Sappin today. This players trying to get in the top 75. These two players trying to get their PGA Tour cards for next season. And Sappin just casually knocking that in for par. No big deal. Yeah, he's just going about his business, not taking too long over certain shots. And looks like he's having a good time. Those hands. Oh, this going upstairs. And a difficult shot from down there. Kevin Roy. Off the green, tough pitch shot. This to save par. Tough putt. Oh, what a save. Walking it in. And James, you think about Kevin Roy. Scrambling this is well. fun. This is fun. Now good one at 14, short-sided. Needs a lot of speed here. What a shot. I mean, these guys are hitting some crazy good golf shots in this third round. I mean, he hits it out of our screen. That is such a good shot. Really good from 178. Probably laid back a little further than he would have liked. He just needs to trust that he can play this outside the hole, commit to that line. Yeah, right in the middle. What a putt from Nyholm. Nice. Hadn't seen a lot of Matt McCarty today, just going about his business as he typically does. Here he is at 18, playing alongside Kevin Roy. Number one atop the points list, three times a winner this season on the Corn Ferry Tour. And that was juicy right there. Oh, that was just a special golf shot, just fizzing it back there. Doesn't look phased, though. He swings at it hard, doesn't he? Trying to elevate this one, move it right to left. Loves it. Oh, what a shot. Look at Sapp and <laughs> immediately bounces back. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming. Let's go to 18. Matt McCarty in there tight. This for Birdie. Just curls in that left side. The man that has won three times this season on the Corn Ferry Tour. He was like saucing all the way to the green. He's waving. He's hitting his cap at everybody. See if he can pay it off. Sure he can. Of course he can. It looked like a two right off the face on the tee. Downhill left to right. Just firms it in. Just. That is awesome. Tee shot just off the green for Sappin. Just a little shorter than he would have liked. He needed possibly around a foot there. I mean, this is going. This is going. Of course it is. Frankie Sapp and Birdie at 17, Birdie at 18. And there's the dance. We've seen it for years. Hanging right around the top of this leaderboard. You see two back of Sapp and who finished Birdie Birdie. He's going to be a tough young guy to catch come Sunday, considering how tough this golf course is going to play.